Hello and welcome to Container Bytes. My name is Mofi. I'm a developer advocate at Google focusing on running AI workloads on GKE. And I'm Ali. I'm a solutions architect at Google. I partner with Mofi in helping our customers run AI workloads on Google Cloud. In this video, we're going to showcase how to serve Gemma on GKE using the VLLM serving engine. Gemma is a family of lightweight, open models that are built from the same research and technology used to create the Gemini models. In this release of Gemma, you'll find both the 2 billion parameter version and the 7 billion parameter version with pre-trained checkpoints ready to fine tune and instruction tune checkpoints that are ready for chat. VLLM is a fast and easy to use library for LLM serving and inferencing. VLLM offers seamless integration with popular Hugging Face models, OpenAI-compatible API server, and Tensor Parallelism support for distributed inferencing. We also have an AIML landing page on GK that gives you access to all the different tutorials and docs that you need to get started on running AIML workload on GKE. As part of this Gemma release, we created four new tutorials for you, showcasing TGI, VLLM, NVIDIA Triton, and Tensor ID LLM, and sex ML. To get access to the Gemma models in Hugging Face, you will need to visit this page, choose one of the models. In this case, we're going to do Gemma 7 billion instruction tune model. And you will have to sign a consent form to get access to this model. I already have access to this model, so I will go ahead and create a new Hugging Face token and save it for later use. and make sure you give it read permission. If you want to follow along with this demo in your own Google Cloud environment, you'll find the link to the documentation in the video description below. To get started, go ahead and export your environment variables. You want to set your project where you have GPU quota available, the region where you have that GPU quota, name of the cluster, and your hugging face token. Next, we create a GKE autopilot cluster using the gcloud command. After a while, we'll see the cluster is running, here we have a deployment file for VLLM Gemma deployment where we have our image that is publicly available. Here we set our request and limit. We request for two NVIDIA GPUs, in this case, two L4 GPUs. Here we set tensor parallel size to two to distribute the model across the two GPUs. We set the model ID to Google slash Gemma 7 billion instruction tune model. And we set Hugging Face Hub token, which we will set to HF secret which we'll create now. Here, we create a Kubernetes secret using the HF token that we had exported before. Finally, we create a service where we will expose the VLLM server on port 8000. Let's go ahead and deploy the VLLM deployment and service using kube control apply. We can see that the VLLM Gemma deployment pod status is in container creating. Now we wait for it to come up. Here, we can see the VLLM container downloading all the necessary model files from Hugging Face. When we see this log line saying Uvicorn running, it means the model is ready to serve requests. To interact with Gemma, let's go ahead and create a port forward to the LLM service. We're going to send a request to the model endpoint using curl. And we can see Gemma respond. The curl example shows the request response syntax for VLLMs. But since we deployed an instruction tuned version of Gemma, it'd be interesting to chat with it. So let's go ahead and deploy Gradio. Here we have a deployment YAML for Gradio. We set the request and limit. We set the host to our VLLM service host, set the VLLM engine to VLLM, give it a model ID and user prompt and system prompt structure. We can deploy it using kube control apply dash F gradio.yaml. We can see that our Gradio pod is already started. We then wait for our Gradio service to get uh, external IP for the load balancer. Once we have the external IP, we can visit that in our browser. Here we have a chat interface to interact with Gemma. What is the longest river in the world? And Gemma responds with Yangtze River in China. There are a couple of other parameters that you can change here, like temperature, top P, and max tokens to change the behavior of how the model responds. If you'd like to follow along and deploy Gemma on GKE in your Google Cloud project, we've published a number of guides for VLLM and other serving engines. Link in the video description below. 